Welcome everybody to Star Citizen. This is the uh, the first iteration of uh, Space Station Stanton, my hangar, and uh, that's about it. And my beautiful spaceship, my beautiful spaceship, which is very sleek, very slender, and got a set of wings, even though it's only going to be flying around in the uh, space. That's a fish tank. That's a uh, alien spaceship of some description. There's a couple of uh, very nice little posters, a towel, and a picture of a Mustang. Right, what do we got down here? This, this is the hangar. This is really big. This thing's really big, this hangar can hold probably three pretty good sized spaceships. I'll try and open the door of this friggin' thing. Oh yes, I can open the door. There's the door opening. The ladder coming down. Zip up the ladder. This is the interior of the spaceship. It's got a little bit of uh, space for whatever odd things I might pick up along the way. Here we go, there's the front. I won't hop in the seat because it starts the uh, the uh, game simulator and I'm really only sort of looking around at this stage. There's an odd little bug here I've got to uh, notify them of, but they probably already know about it because it's a very simple one. Have a look at this. Bang! Straight through. You've got a spaceship that's solid steel but you can jump straight from one end to the other. Very bizarre. I'll have to fix it. I will just let it go at this stage. This is CryEngine 3. It's running in 64-bit. It's the very first iteration of CryEngine to run natively in 64-bit. I'm going to go upstairs, show you upstairs. Let's go upstairs. We have to get into the lift. There we go. There's the lift. Beautiful. So you can see by those pipes there that there's very little anti-aliasing need. Pipes look very smooth, very round, rounded edges. So anti-aliasing doesn't appear to be a great necessity. Mine's probably running it by four in this uh, this particular graphics setting, but it still looks good. The need for anti-aliasing sort of disappeared a bit with uh, resolutions like 1920 by 1080 being being the norm these days. Used to be more of a, a feature when resolutions were down to. 480 and 720 or whatever they used to be. I've forgotten what all the old resolutions for cathode ray tube monitors used to be. I've forgotten all about those bloody things. They're dreadful. Uh, there we go. There's the spaceship from the top down. Looks very silvery. Uh, the lights aren't on in here and I haven't figured out how to turn the lights on. Sometimes the lights are on, sometimes they're off. I don't know whether it's something I do or whether it's uh, whether it's uh, the way the game's currently configured. I've yet to work it out. Okay, back downstairs in the old elevator. I don't know why you need three elevators for one dude. It's got me stuffed. This thing here takes you out to the game simulation. In the following two videos, I'll have the game, the game simulator running, and I will show you a couple of samples of the game. The volume sizes of the space maps are very restricted at the moment because they they are running natively in 64-bit, but they're still running at their 32-bit size because they haven't imported the new parameters into the engine as yet for, for the, the, uh, the, uh, the simulation sizes are very small. It's very hard to maneuver in, in space in a really small area. And right, here we are at Arcorp Stanton unit. This is the planet of Stanton uh, and this is the Stanton spaceport. Beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. We're in the the old waiting room where I suppose you walk out of your spaceship over there and then walk into here. I don't know where you'll go. You'll go down to your hangar, I suppose, 
the knee you'll get out of your spaceship off the landing bay there and wander down to your hangar. Presumably they've got some sort of elevator that sticks it in the hangar for you. I haven't actually seen it. This guy's busy saluting, bending over and saluting every now and then. Everybody at the moment's got the same face. Or there, maybe there's a few faces, but everybody looks pretty much the same. Uh, I don't think I think you're going to be able to customize your actual looks when you uh, get to the the game. That's obviously a very nice spaceship that's sitting out there. We can't get out there and have a look at it. I want to get out and have a look. Can't do it. So we'll zip out the, zip out the door. No, that door is no good. Try this door. Oh, here we go. This is the customs area. At the moment, there's a whole bunch of us playing this. Uh, this. This can hold up to like 64 characters. This dude is a character. He's obviously gone out for a coffee and just standing there. So these are all the people. You can't really, you can't do anything. You can't shoot each other. All you can do at the moment is You're look around in the bits and pieces to this spaceport as time goes by. So it's going to get bigger and bigger. This is the gun shop, obviously. I don't know whether you can actually get a gun. Go and ask the dude, can I have a gun? No. This guy's looking at grenades. He knows what he wants. Now we're out the door. I don't know what that cogs and wheels thing is, but that's Arc Corps, Arc Corps logo, probably, or whatever the logo is in the 29th century. There's a few people playing. What are you up to, mate? What are you up to? Hey, hello. Hello. Yeah, we're all the same face at the moment. All 64 of us. But we'll be able to customize faces later according to the Chris Roberts, the developer. This is uh, on uh, CryEngine 3. This is a specially developed version of CryEngine. There's a few people hanging around. You can't do anything here yet except look around a lot. Oh, there we go. That's a nice spaceship. Very flashy. Right, well that's the uh, the Arc Corp band or whatever. What do we got over here? Dumpster Depot. Oh, it's exactly like Freelance. Chris Roberts is, of course is the uh, Microsoft's developer of fr game Freelancer, which I used to play here about 15 years ago. Great game, but uh, this has now at least got a, a really nice uh, graphics rendering instead of the cartoony like. Uh, rendering of uh, Freelancer. Hello, can I have a spaceship? Oh, it's a long way down. This game is all on dedicated servers. I don't know where the server is, but the latency is not bad, so it's probably uh, in Sydney. Hello. Everyone's just sort of standing and staring. They probably uh, sign onto the game and then go and have a coffee or have tea and just stand around a lot. 
guess, but uh, it's, the, it's the gun shop we've already been there. Oh, what have we got here? A bar. Let's go to the bar. It's exactly like Freelancer again. We've got a bar. We've got a uh, space parts shop. We've got a bar. We've got a gun shop. It's just like Freelancer. Exactly the same. It's updated a bit. Horny. Buddy, can you pour me a drink? No, he doesn't want to pour me a drink. Get in the zone. Okay, let's go to the zone. Oh, well, let's just see. So a gas tank. Now why would they have a gas tank there? I suppose that's for the buggies, the little buggies. Yeah, where were those little buggies? I saw one of those little buggies. I'll go to the ambulance station and then I'll go and try and find one of those buggies. Oh, this is the ambulance, ambo station. Nothing here works, so there's no point in trying. Can't get an x-ray. Emergency's closed. That dude's just standing there like a statue. None of the uh, dudes are animated. The only animations are the actual players. Now this dude's running over us. Hello, buddy. He's looking very serious. What have, what have we got down here? What's, what's over there? Oh, this is like a back alley. Don't walk around here late at night unless you're well armed. I assume. Oh no, that goes into the A&E. No, no it doesn't. But they got the sign there, so I assume that's where it's going to go. What do we got down here? Oh no, it's another balcony. Oh, we can have a look at the space, sort of have a look at the spaceship, but it's very hard to see. It looks pretty good. Big spaceship. We've been there. Been to the gun shop, we've been there. What's over here? Oh, right, we can go up another level. Whoa! Oh, there's a spaceship. That's a nice looking spaceship. That's a big building. Man, that's huge. Casbar outlet. Casbar outlet. Ah, where are we going now? Ah. Been to the gun shop. Right. All I've looked through here is a bit through here. So what's through here? Oh, there's another back alley. Take your gun with you when you go down here. What have we got? Oh, this is long and involved. Oh, we've got an air conditioner going. Oh, 
graffiti everywhere. Oh, there's another balcony. I'm trying to look out. Oh, this is interesting. What have we got here? Oh, we got a uh, garbage depot. It's not a bad rendering of fire. It's not, not as good as some of them I've seen, but it's not bad. This is not a final iteration of the product. It, it is still under development. This is an early beta or alpha or whatever it is. An alpha, maybe. I don't think it's really a fully developed gizmo yet. It's a few shortcomings here and there. What's this? An ad for booze? booze? Now I want to go and have a look at that uh, big spaceship again. Oh, Astro Man. That's where we go. Have a look at that. Oh, this is a little fault in the uh, in the system there. If you jump off the edge there, some, somewhere people are jump, jumping off the edge. If you jump off the edge, uh, you go down and then respawn at the top and keep going, going around a big circle. So if you jump off the edge, you just go around an endless loop diving out. They haven't fixed that yet, but uh, I'll have to have a look at that and fix that. Here we are, Mark. This is it. The job well, uh, if you've ever played freelance, they used to have places uh, we used to go and get jobs, this is uh, obviously the similar joint, so it's still got the same old row of computer terminals like it used to have in Freelancer. There we go, what a lovely spaceship that is, we've got a whole bunch of dudes sitting down there, oh there's one walking, I can see one dude walking, but he's the only sort of character that looks like he's actually moving around, that's the guy with the uh, carrying the pellet boxes. Oh no, there's a guy up there on top of the spaceship too that's walking around. Got a few dudes. Oh well, no, the guy at the top there near the exit uh, connectors. Well, that's uh, it. That's the end of the tour.